Hey guys, welcome to Pinky Tech and Review and today I'm going to make an unbox video for the brand new Lenovo A536 So this phone is a mid-range smartphone so it's not cheap but it's not expensive it costs around 500 ringgit in Malaysia so this is like a middle class phone so now let's get on with the unboxing and first of all the box it's it's very small it's just a size of the phone with everything fitted inside and here are the papers so just open the box up and you can see there's the phone and there's all the cables and the papers here so let's t first take out the phone and the phone is it's got a plastic cover so let's set that aside and in here you get a USB cable so and next you get an earphone which is those earphones that those cheap ones but then it's got a microphone so it, it will work if you are just using for phone calls and stuff and lastly you get the plug which is this and it goes on to your USB cable and inside here are all the papers the warranty card the quick start guide and for that information and here's the receipt from where I bought it from so now let's set the box aside and look at the phone so first of all when I bought the phone the battery came separately from the phone so I'm going to put it back in and this phone has dual sim cards for as first and it's got a memory card in the middle so it's a dual sim phone you can use it do you can use two sim cards at once and that's the camera and the flash that's the little speaker down here so I'm gonna put the battery inside and turn on the phone this is the black one there are two colors for this phone which is white and black I choose for the black and it's got a glossy black which takes your fingerprint quite seriously and now look so when I bought this phone it came with a screen protector so I don't have to buy another one separately and all the buttons are, are over here so it's easier to press and there's the USB cable and the earphone jack on the top so at the bottom there's nothing but a microphone So there's the boot screen and actually the, when you buy the black color of this phone it looks pretty good because there's chrome and otherwise it's all black. So it gives you a quite nice feeling but it's quite thick for my taste. But then actually it's, it's alright, it's a middle class phone so you expect this to happen. So this is the interface, let's make it brighter. So this is Lenovo's launcher and its operating system. And it runs on KitKat 4.4.2, that's the latest version for this. And so it's got a quad-core 1.3 GHz processor and 1 gigabyte of RAM and it's got a 5 megapixel camera and it's got a 5 inch screen which is quite nice to look at and maybe the pixels per inch aren't that good but it's alright you can see the phone clear clearly so that's fine for me so now let's move on to the camera part and so this is the camera's interface, it's very simple, it's very nice. It's got less icons inside so it's easier to see. It's got face beauty mode, panorama mode, normal mode. And this is like multi-angle view which is like the 3D view image. So let's go to the settings and the camera, it's got 5 megapixels. 
then it's got 5 megapixels so now I'm going to go move on to the performance of the phone so most phones now have quad core processors and this one's got a quad core and it's got 1.3 so this sounds pretty promising so I'm going to open a lot of apps so here's Facebook okay so I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to go to maybe Google Play Store then press the home button again maybe go to music yeah so this is the music app you can play any music from your memory card or something and maybe I'll go to YouTube so I'm doing this to flood the RAM to see what will happen when I open too many apps together so Facebook is still keeping up and let's go back to maybe Play Store so it's still open and maybe let's move on to Messenger and so yep everything is still on Google Play Store, YouTube everything is still on so now let's move on to games maybe Clash of Clans Maybe sometime after I'll do some hardcore gaming tests on the phone maybe like Grand Theft Auto or something so to test how much the phone can really handle before starting to lag so as you can see the display is, is not that good it's quite pixelated but actually for, for a phone this price is very good already so maybe I'll not complain too much because the phone is really quite cheap and let's go to maybe YouTube yep and it's still on and let's go back to Clash of Clans again so it's still on and the phone has not starting to lag yet and you can see Facebook is still on after some time and maybe I'll go back to Clash of Clans again and everything is still on Google Play Store is still on Messenger is still on yep it's still on so this phone actually is quite good for multitasking the one gigabyte of RAM actually it does perform quite well for the processor so that's the performance and now let's move on to something else so now let's take a little tour around the phones operating system which is the Novos launcher and its very own customized UI and first of all is the notification center from it's based on KitKat and it looks quite like KitKat just some color differences and icons so you can open a shortcut you can turn Wi-Fi GPS data connection or brightness, ingestion, rotation, hotspot, all those or you can make your own screen you can just go to the settings and do it all yourself so let's go to about phone and so this is running on Android 4.4 it's KitKat and yeah so the CPU right here it says quad 1.3 and 1 gigabyte of RAM and it's got 8 gigabytes of storage phone storage so yeah and this is the latest version it's called Vite UI that's Lenovo's UI so yeah that's pretty much it so that's the phone and actually come to think of it I quite like this phone for the price it's a very good deal if you buy a Samsung for the same price you're not going to get anything like this this is quite a good phone so if you're thinking of buying something for this kind of price range get this this is your choice so thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos and goodbye